Welcome everyone to It Tastes Different Game Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Babylon's Fall. Do you like sleep? This game will help you get a lot more of it. <laughs> so we're just going to dive right into it. Babylon's Fall is an action role-playing video game developed by Platinum Games and published by Square Enix. Two big powerhouses of a company. Um, the game was released for Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 on March 3rd, 2022. So you need to have a PlayStation or PC to play this, and it might as well not came out on anything. Um, I would imagine a game by Platinum and a game by Square and being published by Square Enix would garner a lot of um, initial hype. But it seems like these guys came to play and nobody else came. Uh, I think it was topping out at like 900 and some odd users consecutively on Steam and stuff like that. Um, which there's reason behind it. So basically this is, uh, this is Platinum's attempt at a, you know, a game of service and we'll kind of let the team get into what they thought about it. Um, let's take the guy who plays the least amount of games of service games, Shane, and see what Shane thought about this. Well, one. Right off the bat. Um, uh, let's see where to start. Don't drive while you're playing this game because you will fall asleep. Uh, don't play this game while you play this game because you will fall asleep. Uh, don't talk about this because <laughs> you will fall asleep. Uh, this thing is boring. We went and watched the Batman. This game is as boring as that. That's pretty rough. So I, I don't get where the games and service came in because I couldn't even feel they serviced the damn game itself at all. It was... It, the graphics were crap. The design choices were crap. Uh, the combat was remotely redeeming. Uh, it wasn't terrible. It had some nice uh, strategies you could build up because you could bring four weapons along with you. Um, and depending on your placement, you could do some pretty neat things. Uh, that is my biggest compliment about this game. So if you take that out, and then everything that's left was crap. Um, that's it. I mean, it's just Platinum Games is is one of my favorite developers. I've never had a bad game with them. Uh, I mean, I may not have had the greatest games, but their games have always been good or really damn good. This one is not anything remotely like they've made before. And it was purely a cash grab design. Um I mean, just when you open it up, I believe Pat, you did uh, you did a little math on buying some of the in-game currency, and it was like holy crap! It's like paying your credit card bill. It was ridiculous on the interest rate on it. I think it was like ten thousand. Yeah, and for everything like ten dollars for a thousand yeah, or something. And what like a suit that, of arm was like forty, which barely got you anything. Like yeah. It was yeah. quite a bit. I think it may have been so like I think it, it may was, have been forty yeah, bucks worth. So like four thousand. It's it's really disappointing because you watch the trailers. The game looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't like the art style, but the game looked pretty cool. And then you fire it up, and you realize the commercials were the best part. So that's it. I'm very disappointed in Platinum. Uh, I'm very I'm tired of these games of services because I don't play many. And the problem is, is I'm playing more than I want to because most games are coming out as a service game anymore. And that is that is something that has to stop. That has to stop along with loot boxes. That has to stop along with uh, day one patches that are bigger than a freaking game that still are broken. Uh, there's so many things in the industry that need to stop. And this is one of the big ones. So uh, I'm very disappointed. Um, and it makes me sad. Sorry, Platinum, but you really screwed over a, a loyal lover of your game. So Nick, what about you, bud? For shame, Platinum, for shame. Yeah, this game is bad. And it, it, like Shane said, it is a live service game. This is Platinum's first foray into live service games. You typically don't make them. And I'm also a fan of Platinum games. I love their games. But this one, I mean, live service can be done. It can be done. It can work. But you got to remember something. And this goes to you, Platinum. You got to remember, you got to make a game first. Then you make the live service part. Not the live service and then tack on 
what you consider to be a game, right? This game sucks. I mean, it's really rinse and repeat. You go through these dungeons or these clippets of dungeons and, you know, and you get, uh, it's just basically a dungeon crawler where you go through these little small sections called chapters. You fight enemies. You kill the enemies, you get raided on it, and then sometimes there's a chest or something like that. Sometimes enemies drop these relics, which are random. You know, your average uh, items that fall like commons and greens and blues and purples and various things like that. <clears throat> Once you get done with the stage, uh, all through all the chapters, depending on how many chapters are in a level, like maybe five or four chapters in a level, uh, then you go to the end screen and that's where you basically exchange all your relics for crappy gear. Cause that's all you tend to get is gear. That seems to be worse than the gear you started with. Everything I seem to put on my character is everything is down except for the power level, which doesn't seem to, which I don't know what power level does other than give you a number. That means nothing other than a, a number that you can go into the stage like oh this stage is for power level 14 well i'm 14 even though according to the stats all my weapons and gears sucks but apparently it's good i don't know i don't understand it because everything seems to be uh in the red instead of in the green which means it's good so and then after that you go back to town you can sell your stuff and then it's just that again right it's a rinse and repeat you just go to the same thing and the level the levels and the level design are bad, right? I think uh, in the first level or the first cloister, is what they call it, um, it has four stages, and those four stages aren't too bad. There's got a lot; they got a lot of things going on. Like there's periods where rocks are flying from the sky and pillars are coming up from the ground and things are being destroyed and stuff like that, and that's really cool set dressing, right? The second cloister has nothing. It's just hallways and waterways, and that's it. Nothing crazy happens. It's like they blew all their budget on the first four levels, and then after that said, what? That's it, everybody. <laughs> the rest of it, just copy and paste the rest. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with this. I mean, it's gotten dism dismal reviews. Very few people have been playing it, and I can understand why. It's just, it's a horrible game. I mean... It's boring. It's not fun to play. I mean, even in a group, sometimes even the most boring games, we can find some fun as a group. But this game is just like, no, no, we're we're done. Let's go back to Elden Ring or something, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I don't recommend this game. This game is horrible. Like Pat said, it should have just not came out on anything. They should have just talked about it and said, we're never going to release it because that would have been better than putting it out there for people to attempt to play. Um, yeah, this game sucks. Yeah. How about you, Pat? The art style is weird to me and it the whole thing is weird to me. Like I I think it's kind of cool the four weapons and they they tack attach to different buttons and depending on where you put them, they have different effects and it just seems weird and I don't know how to explain it. The combat is okay. Uh, the combat is interesting if you play anything with variation. I tried to play the mage, it was cool. Or the caster class, you know, there's not a class for it. When you first pick your class, you only get like choices of like three or four different ones. And that one wasn't one, but you could buy the starter set for coins when you get in the game. And I did that and it gave me like some, you know, staffs and stuff like that. So I can cast magic and it's all cool and everything. But after that, the first couple of cloisters never gave me jack to upgrade that one. So here I am sitting at level eight and or power eight. And these guys are power 19 and 20 trying to run through these cloisters and i'm like it doesn't make any sense and it's going to be one of those and what i'm feeling for is it's going to be one of those extremely rng games like just you're running the same thing over and over and over to get that perfectly set piece that you want that complements your piece and i'm just not all about that and the level designs were they were okay the first one was cool but as soon as you got in that area they started doing all the water crap i'm out that was the worst freaking level design everywhere they just basically threw you into what you basically amounted to you running through freaking molasses the whole time and trying to fight stuff and kite stuff. And, you know, and then the first boss was really cool and stuff like that. But, you know, it got boring. I mean, it got so boring to where I'm like, Hey guys, we need game footage for our review. And I couldn't get these guys to get back online. I had to like coax everybody online for an hour so I can get some game footage, you know, They're like I'll play with you in Elden ring. Please come play here so we can get some footage. 
it's that bad yeah it's like i wish i didn't pay for this thing um it's that bad i don't i don't understand it they did this really weird artsy thing that i didn't really think worked for it i didn't like the graphics at all every character feels generic um you know it's i don't i don't see how they're going to entice anybody to come play if their steam if their concurrent player base is so low it's writing on the walls here for me is that I wasted my money on this game. And I I don't know how to say it. It was a waste of money. I wouldn't paid them five bucks for this game. Um, and I should have known better because we played the demo or whatever they call it. Open beta demo that we all played together. Yeah. And I really wasn't impressed then. And I thought, well, maybe they cut stuff out because it's just a, a preview. Nope. That was actually the game. Cause when we got in it, I was like, huh, you let me preview this crap cow. I shouldn't have bought it. I should have just drank that milk for free in the beta and just moved on. Uh, I can't say any much more negative things about this. The only cool thing is, as Shane pointed out, the arm, the, the weapon swapping that you could do. You have four active weapons and four different slots that do different things depending on what slot you put them in and things like that. But outside of that, I was, it was extremely boring. Like I could not bring myself to play this game at all. It, after... <laughs> It's so bad that we couldn't get past all the cloisters to see what the continued dailies and stuff look like. I mean, that's how bad it is. If I can't get past the gen- the entry story portion to get to the games of service portion of it, where you're just doing your grind daily for dailies and all that kind of crap, you're in for a plan, uh, player base issue. And I don't see how they're going to get out of it. They can't really, right? Because in my opinion, they really badly double dipped, right? They charge you full price for a game, and they're charging you ten dollars for a thousand garaz, which is insane. And not to mention that the discounts aren't that high. I think you then get like a you get like a dollar discount off as you go up. Like I think two thousand garaz was like nineteen bucks, and then three thousand was twenty eight ninety nine. So they're not even giving you more than like a dollar off. You know, so it's nine ninety nine for a thousand. It's and everything on the item shop is extremely overpriced. You, we all, we, you could see what they did here. Cash grab. That's it. They wanted your sixty bucks, and they wanted you to buy a bunch of garaz, and hopefully you would just suck up all that cosmetic items and not think twice about it, and just be like, "Hmm, our character looks cool." I mean, hell, the the set we got out of getting the first um the first level of the season looked pretty cool, but. I'm like, I don't care how it looks. I want to play. I want to get it plays better. This game doesn't play good. No, it, it's definitely the it's definitely the hardest 60 bucks I ever spent for some uh, game wise. Hell, pretty much anything wise. This was such a disappointment. You know, like Pat said, we played the beta and we had a lot of reservations from it, but it was a beta. You know, so we, we, you know, we let, we went off of Platinum's reputation instead of the beta. And we should have went off the beta and just said, you know what, let's review clipping our toenails because this thing was just, it, it was such a disappointment in every aspect, except for the, the weapon system. I think the weapon system was uh, really a neat ideal and it worked pretty well. Um you know, you can be attacking with one button while holding down L2 and charging up a, a really heavy attack while you're doing all this other stuff. And that was cool. But that was the only thing freaking redeemable about this. And it was, it just pisses me off that, that Platinum, you know, I, I don't know who made the choice, but it was a shit choice to make this game this way. I am pretty sure there was people going, no, 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 don't release it. This is bad, guys. This is bad. People are going to know this is straight up for money. There's nothing gameplay here. It's just a money game. That's it. But, you know, some higher up was like, yeah, nah, people will buy it. You're platinum. Yeah, yeah, well, we bought it. They're platinum. Well, they can kiss my garage if they think I'm buying any of the other crap. So Yeah. The yeah, art style was probably yeah. my worst. I mean, I'm a graphics snob, as everybody knows, and they try to do this whole moving picture thing, and and it's bad. It's I don't. It was almost three art style. It's going weird, on but with they it. try to do this uh, like this cause... oil painting slash moving art thing, and the cutscenes and everything just comes out looking like it's super low res to me, and I'm like, 
sometimes gameplay can overcome that, but would you lack gameplay and art? I mean, you're lacking it all, right? And I don't even remember the audio composition of the game. I can barely remember any of it now. I just remember crappy level designs, crappy looking art, crappy armor. Every time everything seems to not work right, and I'm not getting what I need. I'm just getting random crap. And and as a ranged character, I had the hardest time getting locked on to individual targets and staying locked on to them and, and, and things like that, you know? So it's just got so much going for it. I mean, from a company that made like Nier and, and Bayonetta and stuff, how does your combat and stuff get so boring and trudgery after like such a short time? Like I'm, when I'm, I'm saying short time, we put, three nights into this game is as much we could stomach before we're all just like, I can't do this anymore. Not to mention we put, uh, we put two days into the beta. I mean, it's just, so it's garbage. It it was hard. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think platinum really, and, and other developers need to look at this game as, uh, as a big, what not to do. Uh, I mean, this dented, the sh- crap out of uh platinum's reputation um i mean i will definitely be second guessing their games for now on and i hate that uh you know they I mean, bayonetta it may not be the schindler's list of game storytelling but bayonetta is always fun with a fun story you know fun gameplay uh fun characters fun you know enemies uh you know and near the same way it's and for them to release this is just it, it's just sad and it's heartbreaking because you know you know somebody had to be saying don't do it guys come on what the hell you're going to you're going to make us look bad you know but they did it and somebody's going to have to somebody's fired for it <laughs> just plain simple and i don't want nobody to lose their jobs but this was a crap decision by somebody yeah i mean I think I read somewhere that the item store has like over a hundred. If you had to spend money to get it, if you wanted to buy everything on the item store, it's one hundred fifty dollars worth of material. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, a full price sixty dollars game with one hundred fifty dollars worth of items to buy is a game's as a service where they help themselves to service your wallet is all they're doing. I mean, yep. I don't think it'll yep. last long enough to get overhauls to fix what's wrong with it. It looks visually dated to yep. me. It's dull. It's, it's not platinum, to me. No, yeah, it's it's definitely not. It's that stone we kept getting in the. Yeah, uh, it's rated the, stone. Uh, rated stone for no. <laughs> this one. is this is published by Square Enix. You think they would have gotten the the uh, idea the first time with Avengers? Yeah, and now they have another lives of service game that they're publishing. Come on, Square Enix, you clearly can't do lives of service. And Platinum, you you know, I think the CEO had said they were trying to go, wanted to make, they have a new CEO, and I guess the from what I remember reading, the new CEO wanted to look more into making more lives and service games. Well, clearly that's the wrong decision, because you didn't screw to be it the up. old CEO. Yeah, clearly. Don't go in that direction. The thing is, is Platinum Games released uh, Soul Cresta, uh, on the PlayStation, probably like two weeks before this game, and that's a uh, vertical shoot 'em up, and that game is awesome. I ha- I bought it, and it is so good. It's a it's a vertical shoot 'em up, a shmup, and it is really fun game. And then two weeks later, they come up Battle and Fall, and it's just like, what the hell happened? Like th- it's apparently the team that was wait- making that game needed to wait- make needed to work on this game too, because whatever team was designed for Babylon's fall. I don't know what the hell happened there, but they they definitely fell. And you know this is also a cash grab because they wanted to sell the digital deluxe edition for a hundred dollars, not just the regular one. The hundred dollars for the other. One. And you know what it gave you? It gave you some in-game currency. It gave you some like vanity items, and you could play the game three days early. That's it. Not like a season pass. Not like some awesome like something or other. No, it's just a bunch of cosmetics, some money to spend on cosmetics, and three days early. And they wanted a hundred dollars, a forty dollar difference because it's a sixty dollar game, so forty bucks equal to the amount they were going to give you. I don't think so. This is why Microsoft yeah. pulled out of platinum. <laughs> that's why they didn't do Scalebound. <laughs> I know that's why you know Scalebound wanted to come back and redo yeah. Platinum wanted to come back and redo Scalebound after playing yep. this game. I'm like, I don't know if I want them to. <laughs> Microsoft saw Scalebound and probably thought. 
what the hell is this dumpster fire? And they're like, sorry, guys, we're pulling out, you know? No. See, that's what's weird is uh, Scalebound had all the hype. Everybody wanted this game from the uh, uh, initial trailer to the gameplay demo they did at E3 that year. Something was going on behind the scenes to cancel what looked to be a good, fun game. What that was, I don't know. But for them to cancel Microsoft that played and then it. bring me this, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, something had to be happening. I mean, there had to be something in there because now they're making this turd. That's just wrong. Uh, you know, Microsoft, give them scale bound, but make sure they don't do this. That's that's all I ask because I really want scale bound. Four-player co-op with dragons? Hell yeah. Four-player co-op with four Three weapons? Player co-op with... Actually, this yeah, game's exactly. four-player co-op, I think. Four-player co-op with four weapons each? Is it four? Oh my God, it's just a massive massacre. This is a button-mashing game that just fails to deliver on even that concept after a while. I mean, yeah, it's just too tedious, you know, and, and this will be one of those games. If you play for hours on end, your hands are just going to cramp because it has no, has nothing, no, no, it has no content to it. Really. It's just go in, no. mash buttons, get out, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. And every enemy is like a dense damage sponge. Yep, you know you have those games that have you know like Destiny and things like that. You have enemies that are damaging sponges, and that's understandable. But as you get more powerful, those damage sponges become little to nothing. This game, no. Even when we went back to the first level after powering up through two cloisters and being up to like power level twenty and stuff like that, and even the first enemies, while we did kill them faster, were still it would still take us a while to get through a group of enemies because they were still yep. damage sponge uh, uh, sponges. So it's. This game is just boring. It, it it takes too long to get through the enemies and the uh, level design is very just linear. I mean, there's no I mean, you might have the additional like a uh, alleyway or something that has something down it, but it's not like off the beaten path. It's like, oh, there's something over there, like in the corner. Let me go grab that real quick. <laughs> and that's about it. You're just going down a linear path uh, every level and just getting cut off by uh, what fake walls or whatever little ghostly walls and you have to find a group wave of enemies you kill that group of enemies and you go on to the next room that's basically it that's the entire game in a nutshell Uh, and there might be something and that nutshell should be flushed (laughs) yeah and there might be something cool in game it's just that the game is so (laughs) boring and so bad that no one will ever get there or never will most will not want to get there or never get there because they just stop playing before it ever happens so that's another problem with these types of game. If your game is cool at in game, no one's going to experience it. You know, no. Avengers apparently was that way as well. At in game, that was a pretty cool kind of cycle, but everything leading up was not. And this might be the same case here, but no one's ever going to get there because no one wants to play this turd. Right. Yeah, and like Pat said, when he he's got to beg us to get online and play a game. I mean, any game we will jump into heartbeat, typically no problem. But this one here was literally, you know, my son was pushing me upstairs. Dad, you got to do it. I don't want (laughs) to. It's so (laughs) shitty. But, you know, he made me do it so we could get the recording. And it's it's just it's a heartbreak for Platinum release this. Uh, There is nothing redeemable about it. I don't recommend any money for this. I wouldn't bargain bin this thing. Uh, the cover art is probably the only thing that uh, I would pay for, and that'd be a two dollar uh, metal box, you know. But that's it. <laughs> so screw this game, and platinum, you broke my heart. Well, we better wrap this one up before this one becomes long winded and just as boring as that yep. game. So, anybody got any last words they want to say before we uh, we stick a sword in what scale bound probably was? <laughs> oh, too soon. <laughs> All right. If you're playing this game, let us know what you think. If you're still playing this game and you've been able to put more than a few days worth into it, let us know what you think. Are we missing something major in end game? Because I don't feel like we are. So let us know what you think. And are we cynics or are we on the dot here? So make sure you don't make sure you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Put some comments down there. We like some comments. Don't well, I don't even care if you tell us we're dumb and we're a bunch of idiots. That this game's amazing. Whatever. Throw some stuff down there. And we hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll catch you the next one. See ya.